I think people like to see what comes true and what doesn't. You'll probably drop out of school. When? Spring. Today, I dropped out of college. Probably meeting somebody. I could see you getting into a bunch of relationship with this person. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm so excited about. We are going to be reacting to my 2018 astrology yearly predictions because we are now approaching the halfway mark. So we're basically gonna take a look at the past six months of my life, or I guess like five months, but basically a ton of stuff has happened in the past five months. And we're gonna go back to that video. And if you guys haven't seen it, I will link it down below where my friend Tori predicted what would be happening this year, what came true, what did didn't come true and I know that a lot of you guys are ready for this because as you know I dropped out of college which is the thing she predicted the end of last year and I definitely didn't see that coming I don't know about you guys but she's super on point with everything she does and if you guys would like a reading of your own I will have all that information listed below at the top of the description box just go ahead and shoot her an email with Allie in the subject line she will give you a deal which is a dollar per minute with a $20 minimum PayPal only you must be 18 or older and if you are outside of the US then you can do a Skype call instead of like a regular phone call reading she just all different kinds of readings so just go ahead and shoot her an email she's super dope and if you're a youtuber and you want to do a video with her just hit her up say you're friends with me or ask me to get you in contact with her because i know a lot of my youtube friends have been doing readings with her too now because they see how legit she is if you need some guidance if you need some astrological advice hit her up she's your girl she's not a fortune teller she's not going to tell you what you need to do with your life or like when you're going to die or anything crazy i know a lot of people are skeptics for those sort of reasons but she's not that kind of astrologer and she's just super super cool so yeah everybody check her out i'm going to be giving her a call in a minute here and we're gonna kind of be going over the things that were said in that video and discussing and then making some future predictions for the remainder of 2018. If you guys want more astrology videos please give us a big thumbs up comment below letting me know what you were the most shook about that came true or didn't come true that we're gonna be reacting to in this video subscribe follow my social media also my merch is now available so make sure you guys check it out that's allyhardesty.shop I have a variety of items clothing mugs phone cases etc link below and let's get into this. When we did your chart on the 29th of December 2017. We went back and took like a tally of what's come true so far from January to May. And basically everything seemed to have manifested except for I f***ed up twice-ish. I had a feeling you were going to drop out of school, but I didn't get the dates right. I thought that you would take spring and summer off and then return and you just flat out dropped out. You'll probably drop out of school. When? Spring. Do you think I'll go back to it later? You don't need to. In my opinion, you were right about that. If I hadn't done it that day, I would have done it another day. And I don't really think you said a specific time either. You just said in the spring, and that was the spring semester. And as for the Capricorn, where I kept on saying it's like an older guy or a teacher or something like that, I was close. An older man, a more mature man. Maybe Capricorn. Capricorn could be legacy, history, and tradition. Someone that you know from a past life. The guy? Yeah. And that was brought back into your life. I also said that that was going to really manifest at the end of the year. So. So we have yet to see like how that does turn into something and if that does turn into something but your bond was definitely more solidified this past spring because of the events that happened and there is a Capricorn influence within that family that is wanting you to be around so that's where I found my flaws where did you find them I think that the majority of it was extremely accurate for example at one point you were saying like there may be old issues with the Virgo you may or may not have unfinished business with Virgos so and then I clarified I was like when is that May you're like yes it's in May and so then it'll be done I think come May you'll have had enough it'll suck but that'll be the end of that 100 came true the first thing that I told you was that you were gonna make a lot of money and that you should be careful with it so it's the first five months of the year and you're bringing in money you invested your money into something that you thought was gonna be beneficial for you and come to find out it was bullshit at the advice of someone that you trusted that you were also paying don't invest in Bitcoin or anything you would explain explore new things you're almost gonna have like a whole new way of thinking about things i feel like i'm honestly a completely different person this year i look at things differently my thought process is just different the things i do on a day-to-day -day basis are just different something that was a theme was freedom i think you're gonna find that you have a lot of freedom you're gonna enjoy it and i've done so much yep. traveling this year more than i've ever done in my life back to back didn't expect that to happen this year honestly because i thought i was going to be in school especially financial freedom and you did cut the financial ties that were binding you when i dropped out of school i completely purchased my car for my dad so it's 100% in my name now I own it it's mine before it was still my parents and I was just the one using it and yeah. you are completely free as an adult and you answer to no one but yourself you have a new way of thinking about your life the type of people 
people that you want to date. Exploring new things. You are looking for someone unconventional that probably people wouldn't expect you to be in a relationship with. You are taking a break from men. See what else is out there romantically other than the pitfalls that you've tripped into. Meet new people and explore new things and if it doesn't look like it's for you then you should try it. So we'll see how that turns out. I said your popularity will grow. I think you're going to touch more lives. I noticed that you're over 250,000 at this point. I also started my ASMR channel. You did do that and it went viral. You've got your merch going. Have you thought about doing like alligator t-shirts? Yes and that was the thing that I was kind of holding off on. We talked about writing. You don't write. You don't write at all. And that's a project in the works. I had mentioned that you would meet someone and have a serious relationship. Probably meeting somebody. I could see you getting into a bunch of relationship with this person. You did meet someone but you two couldn't get it together. Yeah. That could have been serious. I agree. So I don't know if I up on that or not. I don't think you did because I still met them. If you want that option, it could manifest. It's their fault it didn't work out. Something that we notice is that you picked the wrong people to share your private business with. You need to be more cognizant before you open your arms to everybody. We can't really throw out names here because no one wants to get sued for slander, but it was someone of authority profession that gave you bad advice and in as much swindled you out of money. You also told me to be careful who I let into my home and that's when I let someone into my home and they stole $200 cash out of my home. Dollars. You were very personal with both of them. You would see what a Scorpio can do in May, which is usually destroy anything in their path. The experience she's referring to is a thing that happened recently. It was a situation that had been a buildup of years, me just getting completely taken advantage of and mistreated, and I lost it. I went off. Like, I let out my Scorpio wrath on this person. You were livid. Yeah. It was a side of myself that I had never seen before. And how did it feel? It was unfortunate the situation had to end that way. Way. It was. It's a painful loss for you. It was, but I was also just so fed up that I couldn't fake it anymore. And that's about as far as I got. Let's kind of review a little bit what we said would happen the rest of the year and react to that as well, because I think people like to see what comes true and what doesn't. I think you're going to seek new forms of treatment when you move. Treatment, how so? That would also be a good time to start therapy. Therapist? Yeah, you're right, because I'm not seeing the kind of therapist I saw before. Yeah, there's you're no way. See a completely different form of therapist. I think in September you might meet somebody. There's another person coming. I don't want to out that project. Anything you say, I can believe out. That'll be a done deal. Oh, wow. Just okay. Take a time. You're actually late. You have to hustle to do that. I had mentioned something about you starting to teach or mentor other YouTubers. I know you said that you're not going to be doing what you're doing forever, but that doesn't mean that you can't show other people how to do it. And that hasn't presented itself as of yet, but that was something that was coming later in the year. You may find like you're a consultant of some sort. You are also going to work on leaving old issues behind you. Like past is the past kind of thing? Yeah. Again, and the Capricorn influence, whatever it may be, is very prevalent. That Capricorn still might be hanging around. I encourage you to please not marry anybody in a drive through ceremony in Las Vegas. Don't get married next summer. And to not move in with anyone. I'm going to throw in, that includes a roommate. Yeah, I was actually just going to say that. Oh, and I also said that you were going to have staff. You might have people doing stuff for you. Well, I think you're right about that because I've been really pushing it. Like, I honestly already kind of should have staff, but I like to control everything myself and I'm gonna have to with the future products that I'm coming out with. Sometime in 2019 you might bring on an assistant. I'd be really curious to know, I mean obviously I'm gonna relocate. I pretty much have an idea of where I'll be living. Can you tell me like when around I'm gonna move and how I'm gonna like it? August. You'll be out by like August 17th I and mean, you're not even picking this apartment. Olivia's picking it out for me. I'm moving to Orange County and she said that before too in a you now stream if you guys were watching that. I did say that. You did. did. Yeah you said that someone else would be doing the work for me. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the same building that she's in. <laughs> Me neither. Your original question was how you're gonna like living down there. You'll love it. It's your vibe, it's your element. Your intuitive abilities and your empathic abilities will be completely heightened in that area. Yeah, by the ocean. By the water, by the creativity of the people that you're hanging out with. Moons in Scorpio, Jupiter's in Scorpio. That's good things, that's good luck. Moons in the second house of money, so money's coming to you. So you think that the move will go over smoothly? Yeah, it, it should be no problem at all. 
It's going to be quick. It'll be quick and unexpected. Almost like you need to sign the lease in 48 hours. I can feel that. Sort of thing. I really yeah. can because you guys, my lease here, I found out. I know I've told you guys in previous videos that I didn't know if I signed a year contract or month to month. I called them, which I already probably should have known this, and it's month to month. So I just have to give them 30 day notice and I can move out. It's basically she's going to find the perfect place, secure it for as long as she can. You're going to have to jump when she says jump. Can you tell me about the opportunities I may be having or like business ventures towards the end of the year? It looks like you will get help, not that you need it, but for a particular project that you're thinking about doing. Do you know which project? Oh, wow, interesting. You will find help in a place you didn't think to look. You may not drown in that after all. I like that you have an empty 11th house ruled by Leo. You're the center of attention with your friends. Not like a diva or anything, but you're finally finding your tribe. Cool chicks that you can trust, that you can bond with, you can be yourself with. That's not what your question was, but that is what's being shown. Well, that's an opportunity, um, in my opinion, and that could be yeah, business. It, it could be business. It, the sun is in Gemini right now, so I mean, that's two different things. That could be friends, that could be business. Mercury is actually in Taurus, so you can count on some stability and some honesty and some authenticity from the people that you deal with. Your Uranus is right in the middle of your seventh house at zero degrees Taurus, and that is the beginning of a different kind of relationship. So I stand firm that at the end of the year and start of next year, you will be in some kind of situation. And it'll be with somebody that people don't expect to see you with. Are people gonna expect beforehand? For the most part, no. And do you think that's related to the Capricorn aspect? Only as far as that the person may be older or more experienced than you. Maybe a little more traditional or business-minded, someone that you meet at work. Do you think this is separate from the legacy? It has to be. So the Capricorn legacy element may come back later? That turns more into a dialogue between you and that person. There's a lot of things that need to be said that I think in the spring of 2019 will be said, but I don't know if it's going to change the picture. We'll have to see. But that particular individual is in your life yeah. and you are in their life and that is your twin flame, not the other person. Yeah. We don't know what's going on in their mind. We just know that other people would prefer you to be in that situation, but that's not for you. The other person that people don't expect you to be with is for you. It's the seventh house. It overshadows everything. Wow. When did you say that was going to manifest again? Just end of the year? Yeah. Out of nowhere. Somebody out of nowhere or someone in social media, someone you're running around in the same circle with. I'm going to say that you're going to be like super creative and like super motivated and super inspired. And that's really going to take like what you're doing doing now to the next level. This is your highest planet. It's also your chart ruler. So I again go back to modeling. I think that that will present itself. Which is crazy because I've never even considered something like that before and the opportunities are just sort of like in my face now where yeah. it's almost like why wouldn't I do it? Yeah, you almost kind of have to. Yeah. A little bit. You're always going to learn something from someone pretty much every day. You're going to be growing and expanding every day. I don't think you're going to have another Scorpio status for quite a while. Having to go off on somebody? Yeah, I think that things will be relatively peaceful with the people that you let into your life. It's going to work out really well. I think that the move and the business opportunities, you will become an enterprise. Do you see any more traveling towards the end of the year since I'm doing so much of it now? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to stop traveling then. No, not for a while now. Am I going to get a dog? No, you're not home. I know. I think the only reason you went to Chico is to drop out. Me too. And then you served your purpose and then it was time to leave. That was your karmic lesson. Now you have like a plan of what you want to do though. Things are getting thrown at you that you know you weren't planning on. But you're gonna have to start saying no to shit. You need to be people or propositions or whatever. I don't think and I just say yes to everything even when like I know it's not a good idea. Yeah, and then you have to back out and you look like an asshole. Trust your gut. Is there anything you want to say to the viewers? Yes, I do. I First of all, I want I wanted to thank Allie tremendously for her generosity of spirit and giving me the opportunity to meet you guys. Well, thank you for being on my channel. Everyone loves you. If you guys have had a reading with Tori before, leave it in the comment section below. I love seeing comments when people are like, you introduced me to Tori and I love her now and I did a reading with her and it was so accurate. Okay, you guys heard it here first. This was whether or not everything came true and in my opinion, like basically everything came true. It was like pretty freaking spot on and if you guys don't believe in this sort of stuff or you're skeptical because you've been scammed before because I've been scammed before, she's like the real deal. She just makes inferences based off of the tools 
rituals that she uses from astrology, which is like a real planetary thing. You must have your birth time if you guys do want to get a reading. Again, all the information will be listed below. Her email, put my name in the subject line. It's a dollar per minute, $20 minimum, PayPal, 18 plus, or if you're international, then you can do it over Skype. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up this video for more astrology videos and leave a comment letting me know what kind of astrology videos you would like to see. Subscribe, hit the notification bell twice to receive all my notifications. Check out my ASMR channel linked below, my Patreon for my private Snapchat, etc. Follow my social medias. I now have merch out. Make sure you guys check it out. That's AllieHardesty.shop. I have a variety of items, clothing, mugs, phone cases, etc. Link below. Go check it out, even if you don't buy anything. I just would love it if you went and like saw it. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.